All right, y'all, welcome back to my channel. So today we are doing pretzel rides. I know I've been saying I'm going to do these and I haven't done them yet. So today is the day. So what I have here is caramel squares, which are these. You can purchase these at Walmart. I don't know. I think it was like $2 or something or maybe 3 and then whatever choice of pretzel rods from whatever your supplier is, Walmart, Kroger, CVS, or Publix. I think Dollar Tree is selling these rods now. <coughs> so what you want to do is take two squares out of your bag, which I already have here in my hand. And then you just want to start smushing them together. Once you smush them together, you want to start rolling it in your hand. Once it get long enough, you're going to start rolling on your surface. Gonna roll it out like that. You're gonna take your pretzel, put it to the top, and start twisting it on there until you get to the bottom. You can space it out if you like, or you can keep it close together. It's up to you. <coughs> In my case, I have to come around with that one. Hold on. It didn't look even at first. good enough this is what you want you don't want it to be so chunky and thick now we're going to wrap it again <coughs> and there you have it now I'm using Merkins in this video white chocolate bright white mercury chocolate um, you can purchase this on Amazon for six dollars and some change or so I'll put the link down in the description box for you all what you want to do is get your chocolate heat it up 30 second intervals in the microwave and then you want to get your pretzel stick and then you want to tilt your cup see my I don't have that much chocolate in mine because I've been using it today but I'm just working with what's left. Dip it in there. Bring your cup up. And start twisting it. <coughs> you want to cover your caramel. You want to try to get your pretzel rod at the end as even as possible. And then you want to bring it up and shake it out. And get all the excess chocolate off. You don't want to lay this down on your surface and let it dry. What we're going to do tonight is place this on some racks. And we're going to place it in the refrigerator. And I'm going to show you how to do that. You can get these racks from Dollar Tree. Buy two of them. If you can't get the actual one from Walmart. But that's still like $3 or something. You can get. That have the squares on it. Give me one second. And we'll be back with you in just a moment. Let me finish letting this drip. 